What is going on guys? Welcome back to the channel and I appreciate you being here. Today I am back with another Fortnite news video and today we're going to be going through a few changes that come with the latest update patch which not long arrived. But before we go any further guys, just a reminder that every week I give away 2800 V-Bucks. To win, make sure you're subscribed to this channel and have that bell button ticked. Drop a like on this video and leave a comment down below. Winners are picked at the end of the week and contacted via direct message. So good luck everybody. Okay, so with the version 3.6.0 update, which is upon us now, came some interesting changes for sure. And today we're going to go through the pick of the bunch. Okay, so firstly, we are getting a new grenade called the Kalinga, a grenade data mined a while back uh, called the Sticky Grenade. And this, like suggested, will stick to any objects on impact. Here are a few more details on this item taken straight from the patch notes. Rarity is uncommon. Location, floor loot, supply drops, supply llamas and treasure chests. Explosion delay, once attached to a target, 2.5 seconds. Player damage, 100. Structure damage, 200. Radius, 1 tile. Max stack size, 10. Pickup stack size is 3. Stick this grenade to an enemy and wait for it to explode after a short duration. Can now explode in mid-air. Will cling to any surface or player hit. Will detonate early if a structure it is attached to is destroyed. Sounds pretty pretty cool. We then got other weapon changes and adjustments too. Reduced chances of finding remote explosives in treasure chests by 40%. Minigun adjustments. Increased accuracy by 10%. Decreased recoil by 10%. Increased damage from 16 slash 17 epic legendary to 18 slash 19. Greatly improved hit registration of long range sniper rifle and crossbow projectiles. Uh, port of fort improvements. Port of fort tires no longer grant falling damage immunity after players bounce off them. Them. For a port projectile preview now indicates if it will build with stilts and a ramp. Port 4 trajectory now turns red if aimed too high. Okay, so we're going to move on to something kind of major here, and that is the new addition with this update to turn bought items. Yes, you heard that right. If you have bought items in Battle Royale outside of the game for V-Bucks, with this update you will be allowed to return three of these items. Here are the details. Self-service cosmetic returns featured has been added. Will allow you to return up to three cosmetic purchases for V-Bucks lifetime. What can be returned? Emotes, gliders, harvesting tools, bat bling and outfits. What cannot be returned? Battle pass, battle pass tiers, starter pack, founders pack, founders pack upgrades, loot llama, save the world, event and weekly items, save the world. So how do you do this? Well, you go to your item shop, click on the purchase history indicated in the bottom right corner and basically trade back any three items which are available for you to trade which you have purchased over the past 30 days. If you have items you wish you'd never bought, you can trade free back and get something within the future which you will appreciate more. So this is a nice little addition for sure, good news. All of the update changes known so far you can read through on the screen now if you want to. Pausing the video might help you though unless you are Barry Allen. <laughs> Okay, so lastly on screen now, thanks to two epic buddies on Twitter, we can see a few new data mined cosmetics from this latest patch. When more details come on these said items, I will cover them in a video for sure. But guys, on that note, I am out. Thanks as always for stopping by. If you enjoyed the video, leaving a like truly helps me out. Subscribe if you're new around here and enjoy daily Fortnite videos. And hopefully guys, I will see you on that next one. Always in the wrong. Get around.